Within the field of artificial intelligence, we can see two distinct mythologies at work. The first myth is that non-human systems are analogues for human minds. This perspective assumes that with sufficient training or enough resources, human-like intelligence can be created from scratch. The second myth is that intelligence is something that exists independently, as though it were natural and distinct from social, cultural, historical and political forces. In contrast, AI is neither artificial nor intelligent. Rather, artificial intelligence is both embodied and material, made from natural resources, fuel, human labor, infrastructures, logistics, histories and classifications. AI systems are not autonomous, rational or able to discern anything without extensive, computationally intensive training with large data sets or predefined rules and rewards. Due to the capital required to build AI at scale and the ways of seeing that it optimizes, they are ultimately designed to serve existing dominant interests. These systems are built with the logics of capital, policing, and militarization, and this combination further widens the existing asymmetries of power. Mining is where we see the extractive politics of AI at their most literal. The tech sector's demand for rare earth minerals, oil, and coal is vast, but the true costs of this extraction is never borne by the industry itself. The production of AI depends on the twin moves of abstraction and extraction, abstracting away the material conditions of their making while extracting more information and resources from those least able to resist. The task of addressing the foundational problems of AI and planetary computation requires connecting issues of power and justice from epistemology to labor rights resource extraction to data protection, racial inequity to climate change. We can question the idea that everything should be subject to the logics of statistical prediction and profit accumulation. Refusal requires rejecting the idea that the same tools that serve capital, militaries and police are also fit to transform schools, hospitals, cities and ecologies as though they were value-neutral calculators that can be applied everywhere. By rejecting systems that further inequity and violence, we challenge the structures of power that AI currently reinforces.